Hey there beautiful people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. After seven days of long break, I'm back. I still want to take a little bit more time. I was just giving myself time, you know, relaxing. I worked a bit too hard and burned myself too much. But, you know, those points you have to really take your time out, you know, like time out and time off. So I'm doing like a few videos for you today. Thanks to all of you who are concerned about me and ask me if I'm okay, I'm good. I'm just feeling like a little bit like you know burned out as in like from inside you know uh, at times you feel like you know you don't want to force yourself to do these reviews because for me it's more of a hobby if it becomes sort of like a, you know like everyday thing and it's a bit too much at times for me okay so yeah uh, thanks for your patience thanks for your support and checking on me and those who are in Fracom Bangladesh thanks for you know uh, keeping in touch with me okay so today we'll be looking at Cartier uh, two different fragrances, two flankers of a flanker, okay? As you can see from title, it's going to be Declaration d'un Soir versus Declaration d'un Soir in tens or in tons. So, uh, first of all, Declaration d'un Soir and both these fragrances come from this perfume, even though they have nothing much to do with it. Original Declaration by Cartier. People compared this with uh, uh, Terre d'Hermes, you know, fragrances like that are Voyage d'Hermes. So, this is a very nice spicy woody fragrance for men. And this is sort of like a masterpiece, like Jean-Claude Elena's masterpiece. Everybody knows that. But it's a very uh, love it or hate it fragrance. You really have to give it time, be patient. And it's a mature fragrance for men. So they have like a perfume version of this. I have to try the brown juice. But I already love this line. And I do have the other one, the cologne, that I also enjoy in summer. So I really loved, because out of this, uh, the whole line cart here, I'm always impressed with Declaration d'un Soir. Okay. This is like the masterpiece for me, you know, like... Uh, Declaration Don't Soir is that rose that I actually fell in love with. I sprayed this and the same day I sprayed La Nuit de L'Homme, L'Homme, Bleu de Chanel. A lot of perfumes but I bought this, you know, like a small bottle and I never regretted it. Uh, this perfume, genuine masterpiece. I just think this is one of the most beautiful, romantic and one of the most sophisticated niche quality. This is a niche perfume in a designer bottle and price tag. Okay, so this is a rose, sandalwood and I think pink pepper or some peppery notes and a little bit of freshness of the rose okay so sandalwood rose based perfume uh, i always say this is good for all year round great performance you know like valentine's day this is so perfect but i did review the darker brother of this one was uh, this is the intense version declaration those for the dark bottle so they all come in this kind of same looking bottle as you can tell they have this kind of uh, similar looking bottle thin bottle with this kind of atomizer they have the stopper okay it looks a bit ugly here in the neck i don't like that i told you but it's okay, they never break or something. So um, these fragrances both are discontinued now as far as I know, but still can be had for very good prices, okay? Uh, another thing is Cartier, you know, or Van Cleef and Arpos, you might think like their fragrances are not well known, but they are very expensive. Bulgari, they are very expensive jewelry or watches, they make those. And you, if you see their other products, they're supremely expensive, right? So Cartier is, a, if you look at retail side, if you go to a Cartier, or Cartier, I don't know how they say French. You go to their showroom or the boutique, you'll see their fragrances are expensive. And Cartier sells for much more expensive than YSL in Malaysia. That's what I noticed. So not cheap, but always look for discounts or sites or, you know, like people who are like, you know, like selling online. Price will be around $55, $50. You can buy 100 ml. So these are both 100 ml, really nice prayers. And I know them for a very long time. So this one, Basically, we'll have a full review today. Uh, this is going to be the full review. I'll give you my final thoughts on this. So out of these two, uh, which one do I prefer? I'll tell you. And which one smells like what? First of all, Declaration Don't Swar. <clears throat> How many sprays? I'll go like three sprays with this, you know. Uh, I know it will not last the whole day. But if you go more than three, it becomes a bit strong. You know, the opening gets very intense, you know. So that's kind of like mild spicy, very sweet, rose. And then the sandalwood pops up later. Uh, it can be a little bit too much in the high heat. Three sprays, just amazing. One on the back of your neck, one on your chest, and perhaps one on your hand, and then you tap. So that's the three spray formula with this one. And I think this smells just outstanding. You know, the EDT concentration is just, in terms of projection, it's really beautiful scent bubble around you. People can smell you. But the original rose, it stays for two hours. After that, it's all sand load. So I think this is basically, you really have to try the dry down to commit to a full bottle even though i love it a lot i will not say it's a safe blind buy but now very soon when you things get discontinued they pick up prices very rapidly second thing they start disappearing and that's our mindset that we look for fragrances when they are harder to find and we're willing to pay a lot more zeros right so if you wanted to get it it's time to get now so this also a little bit 
mature fragrance, but I think teenagers and up can use it, but school kids I would not recommend. Uh, all year round, once again, right? So longevity projection all together, I'll give it like an eight out of 10. So compared to that, where does this one stay, okay? Uh, is it like a bottle worthy if you already have this? Uh, depends, okay? If you already have this and you don't like it, I would not say uh, this would be an upgrade. This could be a downgrade <laughs> because it's gonna be more intensified version of the original. And what I mean by more intensified, the pepper in this one, okay? Uh, this definitely is a darker brother. This definitely is a stronger, more uh, like a body, full body, and a lot more character. If this one you find a little bit feminine with the rose, this is no um, scope of thinking like, oh, this is kind of like unisex. This is so masculine. So the main thing that you get, one thing is that pepper. I really feel, I really feel that they put black pepper and pink pepper so intense in this. Reminds me of fragrances like uh, Spice Bomb, Bulgari's Man in Black, and also in a way Valentino Umo Intense, okay? So they have that similar sort of a spicy masculine vibe. And then the woody uh, um, notes in this are also amped up. So basically this is just like the name suggests, the intensest, more intensified version of the original. But, okay, here is the main difference between the two. One thing, the performance of this stuff is beastly. If you put this on your skin, you can go also three sprays with it, but I go one spray. Why do I do one spray? Because that's enough to, uh, for me to enjoy. This one, if you go like outdoors, go like three, four sprays, no problem. But in a lift, if you just apply it, you just got into a lift and there are a lot of people with you, they might start sneezing. It reminds me of Prada, Prada Luna Rosa Extreme also. But the staying power is unbelievable. It's a beastly 10 out of 10 for performance. Second thing, I would say this has less rose compared to this. This smells more like a popuri. okay? Out of the two, this smells like Halloween, more popuri, and it's a bit gothic and it's a lot more dark rose. That rose is really dried rose, you know, like in the in between two uh, pages of a diary or something like that. It reminds me of devil, okay? So this one, you really have to use with a caution and this is more rare than this. So out of the two, if you are a collector, I would say buy both of these right now because these prices are still very affordable and they'll see can be found. After a while, great fragrance like this will disappear and then you will actually hunt down these for $100, just like low medial, Cologne is picking up, no point. So out of the two, which one do I like better in terms of smell? Original, okay? There's no there's no doubt, I just love the rose in this, it's so fresh. I love this over Lyric Man, I love this over any other rose, you know, in the more, you know, like niche style. For the price versus the quality, this should, this should cost $400, okay? I'm telling you, no joke, I don't work for Cartier or anything. This is a $400 worth kind of a fragrance. But if you are not satisfied with the performance, this would be an upgrade. Yes, you heard me right. This would be an upgrade, more masculine, more darker. And if you really want to dazzle people, you want them to notice your perfume, this is a 10 out of 10 for performance. This is eight out of 10, okay? So in that way, you know, like subtle differences, but definitely this is a planker to this. So if you never enjoyed this, no need to buy this one, okay? But overall winners, you know, they are both collection worthy. I love them both, but I reach for this one a lot more, okay? So in that way, I guess in terms of smell, I pick Cartier Declaration Don't Soir. But you must try both side by side, okay? Get it from your friend, just spray it on both hands, you'll see. But these are fragrances not many people talk about, I love. Thank you very much for watching. Time for the last video, which I'll talk about Lacoste House. Take care, bye-bye.